Hi guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you my five minute makeup tutorial. This tutorial is super fun because it's what I do every day. So I hope that you'll enjoy it, that you'll use it every day. And keep in mind, I am gonna to try to keep it to five minutes. So let me know how I do on time. As we get into this, I'm truly gonna to try to make it as quick as possible for you all because I know that there are plenty of makeup videos out there that claim to be five minutes, but actually aren't. So, starting off right, you have to prep your skin with sunscreen. Sun is the biggest culprit of wrinkles and aging, and you wanna make sure that you're combating that correctly. So, I usually use the Elta MD sunscreen. This one's really great because it has zinc in it. You wanna make sure that whatever you use does have zinc in it, um, because that is truly protecting you from the sun versus some other ones that are just an extra barrier that don't do much. So, I start off with a pea-sized amount of that. All right, now that you've rubbed that in and have flashbacks to beach vacations where your mom's like, come here, honey, and like rubs it all over your face, you're good to go on to the next step. So I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Hydro, and this is just a grip primer. Um, it's wonderful because it almost imitates just skincare. So how I'll be using it is the same as the sunscreen, just take it with my fingers, and rub it all over my face. After those two steps, my skin feels super moisturized and ready to receive all of the makeup that I'm gonna put on next. I say all of the makeup, it's really not too much, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using the Dibs Beauty, and this is their highlighter stick. I love it. It's great, you can use it all over your body, so if you're going to a formal event or an occasion, you can put it on your arms or chest. So that's a side note that you need to keep in mind. I'm just gonna apply this underneath where I would be putting highlighter at the end of the makeup application as well but especially in the winter time when your skin has just a little bit of dullness to it you'll want to add a little bit of this liquid or cream highlighter underneath your makeup to give your skin a little bit more brilliance and shine okay so you'll notice i do have a little bit of texture to my skin i'm dealing with a little bit of acne at the moment so the next step for me is to cover that up i'll be using the nars um this is just their concealer that's in the little pot. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but the shade is Custard Medium One. Easy peasy, doesn't take any time at all. And then again, because I'm dealing with a little bit more texture at the moment, I am gonna put a foundation on. This is a really simple, easy step that you can skip if you have really good skin and you're just trying to get out the door. For my foundation, I'll be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And I'll just apply a couple of pumps to the back of my hand, take my foundation brush, in circular motions because this really helps work it into the skin. All right, next up we've got our concealer. So I'll be using the Tarte Ultra Creamy and this is the shade 16N. And I also like to put a little bit on my eyelid because I'll be not, excuse me, I'll not be using eyeshadow for this look. Now that I've got the concealer applied, I'm gonna set it. And this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Even though this can seem like an added step that you don't need to do, trust me, you actually do need to do it because throughout the day, as you go about your work day or whatever you're doing, you'll notice your under eyes start to crease if you don't set them. So don't forget this step, it's super important. Next, I'll be moving on to bronzer, and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, um, and this is the shade 3 Tan. I like to apply my bronzer under my cheekbones, around my hairline, and under my chin, blended down. 
When I put it on initially, you're gonna be like, wow, that kind of looks crazy. You should learn how to do makeup. But I promise you, once it's all blended in, it's gonna look great. Sometimes, I'll tell you a trick, it's literally the ugliest trick ever. Do not screenshot this. I'll go like this and create a double chin and make sure I'm nice and blended under my chin. It's honestly the only way to tell if you're blended there. So, hack that's not super cute. It works though. As I'm starting to blend my bronzer in a little bit more, I'll move back to those circular motions. And then I add a little bit to my nose. That helps slim the nose. Blend out those minor details with another brush. Now I am moving on to blush. So I'll be using, this is the Complex Couture Good Glow Blush Duo. And I usually like to use the Blissed Out shade. Applying that with my Wen Foundation brush and then going back with my other blending brush and just making sure that that is nice and blended. Not everyone has to fill in their brows if you're blessed with gorgeous full brows that don't need any extra help. Hey, kudos to you. <laughs> There's some of us out there that are like that, but not me. And I am going to fill my brows in a little bit with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And this is the shade Soft Brown. When you fill in your brows, you mostly want to work on the arch right here and the outer corner. Apply the product. Spoolie them up, go back, see where it needs to be touched up, and repeat on the other side. All right. And again, not everybody has to do this, but I like to set my brows into place because sometimes throughout the day I'll notice myself touching my face and I don't want them to move. So this is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter that I'm just going to brush on top. It gives me a little bit more of that soap brow or laminated brow look as well, which is super popular right now. Next up, I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner, and this is just the shade black. And I'm gonna be going underneath, underneath my lashes on my waterline. And just fill that in there. This is something that you don't really want to skip either. It's super fun to make sure that your eyes look, your eyelashes look as full as they can. Um, and so this is a tip that really helps with that. Moving on to mascara, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Unlocked. This has quickly become a favorite mascara of mine because I feel like one, it's volumizing, lengthening, and it also comes off really well and isn't damaging to my lashes. As always, if you're looking for any of these products, make sure to check the bio down below. We will link all of the products for you. To finish off the look, I'm gonna be using a little bit of a MAC highlighter. This is the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Um, don't know where it tells me the shade, but I believe when I purchased it, I saw that it was champagne. So, there you go. I'll use a brush for the larger areas of my face, and then for the more precise areas, I will just use my face. Last but not least, I'll be finishing off the look with the Dior Plumping Lip Gloss, and this is the shade Rosewood.
That is it for my makeup application. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I always like to set my makeup with a setting spray. So I'll be using the Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Voila, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.